what's good fox crown my name is white Sox fox and today i'm back with another video man today we're gonna be looking at the dr phil video yes the video you've sent me billions and millions of time on twitter yes that one video but without further ado let's get right into the video my father's a monster he's a pedophile and he's a danger to children jesus christ holy shit i mean i know it's dr phil now but why the f does it sound like 13 reasons why Hello, my name is Dorito, and here's my suicidal story. God, holy shit. I mean, gosh, is really that dramatic? Shit. My father started molesting me when I was seven years old. He started grooming me. The sexual abuse usually happened in the basement. Okay, we're just gonna ignore the fact that this dude literally looks like that dude from Toy Story. From the f***ing toy barn. Al's toy barn. This f literally looks like that mother doesn't look like mother it became like a chore. We watched a porn video together and then he asked me to do a strip dance for him. He made me watch porn. Oh, I'm scared for my life. God, Jesus Christ, it's f porn, dude. It's intercourse, my guy. It's educational. I mean, it, I watch it for educational purposes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Celestia Vega is the educational purpose um, teacher. Uh, yeah, so. My father had me start to engage in sexual behavior with him. Jesus Christ, I mean, with the looks of that dude, I mean, I don't think anybody's surprised. I mean, you can ask Uncle, Uncle Meatball about that. I mean, I, he's not even surprised. I mean, holy shit. I mean, a dude that looks like that already looks like a pedophile. Holy shit. It began by him saying, come down to the basement. We went down to put wood in the stove and he started a conversation. Do you have any questions about puberty? You're going to be a woman soon. <laughs> oh, man. This is literally the same reason why we have health class in sixth grade. Literally. I mean, there's there's no explaining that. I mean, what in the stove? What does that even mean? Gosh, bro, these white Confederate people are just so... Damn, everybody's gonna start calling me racist. Oh my God, you're racist. I'm gonna unsubscribe. Kill yourself. He started teaching me how to perform sexual acts. This involved getting undressed, getting naked, Touching, striptease type dancing. You watched porno with him. He says, um, you can't tell people because if you tell anyone, I'll go to jail. The abuse I endured by my father was a secret and I felt I had no choice but to keep quiet about it. I don't know what's more sad, this video or the fact that this person didn't even say a word. I mean, you have friends. I mean, you should have like at least told them. That's why you have a teacher. You know, they don't put these anti-bullying, don't bully videos for no exact reason i mean gosh this video is purely cancer and it's already starting to get to me jeez i should end the video right here okay the video stops here he would have a signal he'd say i have to go put wood in the stove which was a tip off to me to go down to the basement with him yeah yeah dorito could, could, can you go put chicken in the bucket can 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 you put noodles to boil can 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 you put my um my my condom on the penis can can you put stuffing in a bear Holy shit, I mean, there's there's all kinds of combinations. I mean, can you go put wood in the stove? Yeah, you watching this. Go put wood in the stove, I'm waiting. My father showed me scary movies. Once I was in bed with him, he'd like me to perform sexual activities with him. It was an awful nightmare. There was no one around to help me. I was trapped there. Jesus Christ, I mean, why does this dude look like a 1965 rock and roll player? Like, this dude looks like he just came from the Bee Gees. Hey, hey, guys, I'm looking for a job. Head ass boy, jeez. I mean, this dude looks like he's part of the um, the Beatles, or he's like the last Beatle alive, or something. He says you seduced him. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It seems like no matter what I did, I wasn't doing the right thing. Kim thinks that she didn't have a part in what happened between us at all. Of course not, because you look like the type of person that would say, "Come here and let me have some of that super suck, you dirty little." Our sexual relationship. <laughs> oh my god. Is this literally the same picture we just saw a couple seconds ago? I mean, this could, this could be the goddamn BG player. I don't know. It was consensual. Most of them, she was the one that did the strip teases. She was the one that was always taking her clothes off in front of me. I did not ask her to do those things. So. How is that 100% my fault? And it's this far into a mental breakdown where this dude is literally saying syllable by syllable, can't you give me some chips? I mean, this dude is literally 
acting like that retard that sits in the back of the bus of every school and it's literally just like that. I mean, holy shit. I mean, jeez. For the first time in three years, Kim will face her father. You said, how is this 100% my fault when half of what we did was her idea? When you're in trouble and it's all your fault and then you just blame it on somebody else with your parents. This is literally what this dude literally did. I mean, I've done an excuse so many goddamn times. I mean, I swear. That a great imagination type of stuff we did was her idea. Are you denying now that you put your hands on your daughter in a sexual way? No. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. So you do admit that? Oh, yeah. On multiple occasions? Mm hmm And the What? Is it? We literally have Mia Khalifa in the audience now? What? What? I'm confused. Oh my god. Yeah, this this video is done. I mean, I mean, I'm just so confused. I mean, how do we have a porn star in the field? I mean, holy shit. You had her put her hands on you in a sexual way. Mm, probably, yeah. I mean... If you're the adult responsible for it, then how are you saying Kim started everything? It wasn't against her will. She had a choice. Do you know that a child does not have the capacity to give consent? I know that. So how can you say it's consensual? Because it wasn't forced on her. Little girls don't think about strip teasing. We're still here. I'm still making this video. And you're still a Dr. Phil. I mean, it's kind of your fault, but I mean, I'm not going to put the blame game on anyone, all right? All right. I didn't teach you a strip tease. You showed me. You were doing it in front of me. You showed me porn videos. One. Oh no, this girl watched porn. Oh no, her life is ruined. That's why I'm gonna put my hand across my face. Oh my god, I mean, it's it's porn. She just like she's never seen something before. Gosh, people trip so much over porn, my guy. It's literally what you do at night, okay? That's all I'm gonna go to. That's, that's literally what it is. I mean, they act like they're not gonna go through it during life. I mean, gosh. What are you doing showing your daughter a porn video? It wasn't a big deal. Anytime a father is showing their minor daughter a pornographic video, that's a big deal. It's like that, the video's over. I just wanna give a huge shout out to you guys, man. My video of yesterday almost has 100 views, man. And it's not even been 24 hours yet. And that's that's pretty crazy, man. The Fox card is getting bigger and bigger every single day. But this is my first rant. And, I mean, better quality, better mic quality coming soon. But, um, yeah, if you want more of these, just make sure you hit that like button. I'm trying to get 30 likes on this video. Because the last video got, like, 18. So, if we get 30, I'll do another rant video. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, Fox out.